I'm on Bowen Island, a 20-minute ferry ride from Vancouver. And while I'm here on the West Coast, I wanted to talk about our oceans and the waters that Canadians rely on every day. Not too far from here is the Port of Vancouver, which handles a large amount of Canada's trade outside of North America. Travel a few minutes from there, and you'll find the iconic Vancouver Seawall, the largest uninterrupted waterfront path in the world. That's not the only record we hold. Canada is home to the largest coastline in the world, stretching from here in the Lower Mainland to up north and out east. Our oceans are part of who we are. So when we created the Oceans Protection Plan in 2016, we did it to protect these waters and millions of Canadians and Indigenous communities who are connected to them. But what is the Oceans Protection Plan doing to make that happen? To start, we're protecting habitats for precious but vulnerable species like killer whales right off this hook coast. We're making shipping safer, modernizing and expanding our Coast Guard's capacity, boosting emergency towing, improving radar coverage, and so much more. To prevent marine incidents, we're increasing inspections and surveillance, expanding our capacity for search and rescue, and preparing faster response times for oil spills along our coasts. And we've been working in partnership with Indigenous people on marine safety and environmental protection. Of course, on top of the Oceans Protection Plan, we've made historic strides on conservation targets, too. Since 2015, we've gone from protecting less than 1% to over 14% of Canada's marine and coastal areas. Wherever you live, and however far you might be from our coasts, what we're doing to protect our oceans will mean better outcomes for you. They'll mean a stronger economy and good jobs, safer and more resilient communities, and a better future for generations to come. That's what this is all about, and that's what we're ready to keep fighting for.